your ultimate team coin needs, check out utcoinsforyou.com. There will be a link in the description. And if you use the code CHEZ, you can get yourself a 5% discount. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again with another episode of the Chelsea Career Mode here on Xbox One. It's episode number 38 and we're back to Champions League action in this one. We're away at Valencia. It's a fantastic ground. As you can see it looks absolutely spectacular with all of that fan art. Really electric atmosphere at the Mestalla for this one. And we are undefeated so far in the Champions League. As you can see we sit top of the group. Two wins and a draw from our opening three games. Of course that draw came... Just a couple of episodes ago against Portos, we stepped up to Legendary, which we are, of course, still playing on for the time being, testing it out, seeing what it's like, uh, see how we get on at Legendary. But Andres Guardado, who's actually in real life, recently moved on loan to uh, to Bayer Leverkusen, draws a good save out of Petr Cech, but fortunately they are going to uh, to put the ball over the top from their follow-up effort. Ava Banega can't keep the shot down, and it races, races away over the bar into the stands. But they were going to have another chance from the corner just a little bit later on. Arturo Vidal actually plays the player on side here. It's Jonas at the back post and uh, if you go back and have a look I didn't leave a replay him but if you go back and have a look Arturo Vidal is on the post and plays him on side if he'd uh, kind of pushed out a little bit earlier then perhaps uh, Jonas would have been caught offside and we wouldn't have gone 1-0 down we came so close to getting ourselves back on level terms here Fernando Torres rifling the ball back off the crossbar just literally a couple of minutes after they'd gone uh, after they'd gone 1-0 in front but it was just a barrage of blue shirts for the rest of the first half trying to, uh, to cut inside the box here William gets a good shot away fantastic reaction save from Diego Alves but fortunately the ball rebounds back to uh, to Arturo Vidal making up for his mistake not pushing out playing like Jonas on side and he's able to poke the ball home into the bottom corner and we go in at half time with the scoreline all level at 1-1 so uh, we push into the second half and we don't actually have that good a free kick taker in the team although Marco Royce is one of the best players in the squad to uh, to take a set piece and it's a very good free kick actually a good set piece but uh, unfortunately for us Diego Alves is able to race away to his top right hand corner and pluck the ball out of the air and uh, they're actually going to get another good chance here to get in front Andres Guardado again making the uh, making the threat towards our goal but fortunately there's a last stitch tackle thrown in there and David Luiz is able to hook the ball clear and unfortunately we weren't able to push on and get ourselves a win from that one we do only take the one point but we do still sit top of the group and we are still undefeated so far in the Champions League group so still all to play for there you would like to think but uh, we're going to be able to qualify from the group because the game is against Porto and against Standard Liège yet to come for the rest of the group stage but we push back to Premier League action here Luis Muriel making a start in this one with Oscar sat behind him Thibaut Courtois comes back into the side his first start since that horrific error against West Ham in last Friday's episode a lot of you left uh, plenty of comments in that episode to, to, uh, to kind of back up my decision or back up my thoughts that it was completely retarded and you agreed that it was one of the most ridiculous things you've ever seen in uh, in a FIFA career mode and I, of course I agree with that I went on a bit of a rant if you missed that episode then of course feel free to check the channel page and there will actually be a link as an annotation in the bottom left hand side of your picture if you want to check that one out to see that just ridiculous error but Southampton are actually going to put the ball into the back of the net here in the uh, in the 22nd minute but fortunately as you can see from the replay he is just a couple of yards offside and I think had Petr Cech been playing to the whistle he would have been able to make a save anyway but Lewis Muriel's drawing a good save out of their goalkeeper yet again in this first half he's had a couple of efforts so far and he's really staking his claim for a consistent first team place of course Fernando Torres was our uh, was our first team starter and top goal scorer last year but he's Muriel has done very very well since he came in and we're actually going to pick up a penalty here Gary Cahill is going to win the header and uh, the uh, the defender's arm is going to go through Gary Cahill's face here fantastic coding from uh, from the guys at EA wonderful physics engine there and we actually pick up a, a penalty for I guess handball but uh, Lewis Muriel is going to put the ball into the back of the net he fully deserves a goal after the way he started in this game and we are going to take the lead but uh, they're actually going to get a decent effort through Ramirez here bodies flying in everywhere and un unfortunately rather for us the other ball doesn't fly into the back of the net it goes wide so we push on into the second half and we're actually going to get a fantastic start here trying to uh, to get ourselves a two goal lead lovely ball from De Chilio through to Luis Muriel and a great save from the goalkeeper it's actually Asmir Begovic in goal for Southampton they've replaced Artur Boric I think he went out uh, transferred in the uh, in the first season they've brought in Asmir Begovic who of course is a fantastic goalkeeper Kevin De Bruyne here come onto the pitch draws a good save from uh, the shot from Bender finds him on the edge of the box unfortunately not too much power in the shot but De Chilio is pushing forward yet again from that left back spot Luis Muriel nice one two back to De Chilio rifles the ball underneath the goalkeeper it's a great effort from uh, our up and coming left back hopefully the player that will eventually replace Ashley Cole in the long term but uh, they're actually going to have a chance here live free kick chipped on 
took a deflection off a defender to go onto the post so Southampton pick up a corner that's going to get whipped in by Gaston Ramirez watch number 12 here just at the bottom left of your screen Wanyama makes a fantastic run beats his man up in the air and a wonderful looping header to pop the ball into the back of the net to get them back in the game at 2-1 really spectacular uh, header from uh, from Victor Wanyama here and he plays the ball over the top he's involved here and I didn't bring uh, Courtois out but he came out and then just kicked it straight at the Southampton player drops to Mayuka and Thibaut Courtois has done it again and he's very next start since uh, that awful mistake against West Ham he's just kicked the ball straight back to Southampton and let them back in the game to 2-2 we're tuning up we're looking comfortable and then out of nowhere a couple of goals in the space of five minutes and we're back on level terms but Oscar's going to get the ball played into him here wonderful strike and another fantastic save from Asmir Begovic we'll, uh, we'll see a replay of that one handy save right up to his uh, right hand side up goes the arm fantastic palm away and we do pick up a corner but Lars Ben is going to whip the ball in Gary Cahill's going to go up, picked up a penalty in the first half, he's going to win us the game here with a fantastic header from that corner from Lars Bender, great delivery, bosh, right into the back of the net and we are going to win the game 3-2, we could have made it 4 had Luis Muriel been able to finish off this move, he's clearly got the pace to get away from Lovren, but again Asmi Begovic, another good save down with his, uh, with his boots this time as opposed to his arms, but nonetheless we are going to take a victory, so 3 points from this one in the Premier League to continue our run at the top of the table, trying to catch up with Arsenal who do sit tops. So Muriel retains his starting lineup spot despite being in the rotation side that he's playing in the first team for this one against Cardiff away from home. Again in the rain, unfortunately, is a lot more difficult in the rain on uh, on FIFA 14 this year. But nonetheless, still a legendary away at home against Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's Cardiff City. Now you'll be able to see from the league table, we're still two points behind Arsenal. One point ahead of Manchester City, two ahead of Liverpool and uh, Man City. Sorry, we're one ahead of Manchester United. And uh, we're actually going to get off to a decent start. Eden Hazard showing his pace on the right hand side. Muriel again trying to get in amongst the goals. It's a tame header, but it kind of opens up the, or kind of proves the intent, the attacking intent from the early stages. Willian's going to break down the left hand side, whips the ball in, and that header, by the way, is absolutely superb. I'm going to show you all three replays of this from Luis Muriel because it is one of the best diving headers that I've ever seen on any game of FIFA, let alone in this career mode. The ball actually is behind him as it whips in, and he's finding himself positional sense is absolutely superb gets in between the two defenders this third replay shows the technique even better it's behind him oh it's just so good there's an absolutely phenomenal header i may even uh, i may even title the uh, the episode after that header because that was just absolutely superb we take a 1-0 lead and marco royce still looking to make an uh, an impact for the team on a goal scoring front but uh, he's still been putting in the uh, the performances for us to make sure that i do still feel that he was a valuable asset to the club and worth the move of course we uh, we made a straight swap for him with Borussia Dortmund for Juan Mata. He's only scored one so far, but he has come very, very close on numerous occasions. And he is going to come close again here. David Marshall again drawing another good save. This time it's from the chipped effort that uh, against most other keepers would have ended up in the back of the net. It just so happens that David Marshall is a fantastic goalkeeper. But Fraser Campbell was a thorn in my side all game long. He's going to whip the ball in here. It's actually Jordan Much on the volley. Fortunately puts the ball wide of that far post. So I made a couple of changes as we head into the final stages of the game. Bringing on Fernando Fernando Torres because Muriel was getting a little bit tired and bringing on the goal scorer from the previous game Matteo De Cilio, just to try and uh, strengthen physically at the back bring some fresh legs on and we, we were actually going to make the uh, make the attacking moves yet again in uh, towards the end of the game Marco Royce can't play the ball across just yet because Willian's offside as uh, we make the initial breakthrough he does manage to drill the ball across but the defender makes a fantastic last ditch tackle and we aren't able to make it 2-0 but nonetheless we do take 3 points so uh, even if our goal difference isn't boosted too much we are getting the maximum amount of points so we're still two points behind Arsenal they keep up their winning ways as do we nine wins three draws and just that one defeat so far from the opening 13 games of the season so we're going well we're sat second in the league we sat top of our Champions League group unfortunately out of the Capital One Cup but of course we still yet to uh, to make any headway whatsoever in the in the FA Cup that will come in January but that's going to bring this episode to a close guys thank you very much for watching please do feel free to leave the video a like if you could be so kind if you missed the previous episode like we said there's going to be an annotation on screen this time over that snippet of gameplay if you aren't subscribed to the channel feel free to do so there will be links in the description and an annotation on screen of course over that little subscribe button there if you want to uh, to join the Chelsea career mode journey there's plenty of other stuff in the channel as well ultimate team and a head-to-head -head road to division one which you guys are heavily involved with so uh, be sure to hit subscribe if you aren't and that is going to bring this one to a close so thank you very much for watching guys and I will see you next time